We're going to play a game called Never Have I Ever, which you might have played before, but this is the decluttering version where there are seven phrases and questions you can say to yourself and ask yourself to determine whether you should keep an item or declutter it. Have you ever had this happen to you where you're feeling really motivated to declutter and you're throwing stuff in the donation box and the trash bag and it's just boom, boom, boom. And then all of a sudden you pick something up and it's like the brakes go on and you just look at that item and you have no idea whether you should keep that item or declutter it. Well, those are the items we're talking about today. The first phrase is never have I ever. So you are decluttering and you pick up an item and you can say to yourself, never have I ever worn this or never have I ever used this. It's just an easy indicator that maybe that is something that you can declutter. If it's not just as simple as that, you can follow it up with never would I ever. I like to call these the never have I ever, never would I ever. And these are items that you have never used, you will never use. An example of this might be something that you bought for scuba diving. And so you bought a wetsuit because you were going to take these scuba diving classes and then you never actually ended up going scuba diving. And now scuba diving does not sound like something you can ever see yourself doing. That wetsuit is probably something that you can declutter. I would encourage you when you're using these phrases to say them out loud because there's some something just firm about saying, never have I ever used that, never would I ever use that, it is gone. The second follow-up to never have I ever is, what if I do ever? So that would be the question you would ask in your brain without thinking about it. What if I ever want to use this item in the future? Ask yourself, this is a lot of asking yourself things, if I declutter it today, what is the cost to repurchase this item in the future? Or can I buy it secondhand? Or would I be able to borrow it from someone? Another question that you can ask yourself is how much space does this take up? And is it worth keeping it for that space that it takes up in the event that you do eventually want to use this ever? Another follow up to that question would be how can I be clever? So if you have something to declutter, but then you decide that what if I want to use this in the future? Well, how can I be clever to use something else to substitute for that item? An example of this is this curling hair dryer thing that I bought like 15 years ago. Never have I ever used that within the last 10 years. If I want to curl my hair in ringlet curls again at some point, you can either buy one of those on eBay or just use a tighter curling iron and get those curls. But, but the point here is that if you want to declutter something today and you're worried that you might want to use it in the future, an option would be to just use something else as a replacement for that item and just be clever about it. If you find an item and you cannot say, truthfully, never have I ever, then you can use the question, when did I do ever? See how these all rhyme? See how fun this is? So in this case, you would ask yourself, what season of life did I use this item? And how long ago was that? And am I in a season of life now that would make it possible for me to use that item or wear that item or not? <laughs> so you can probably find things in your own home and ask yourself, when did I do ever? <laughs> and <laughs> determine whether you would actually do those things now or in the future again. The next question you can ask yourself when you're decluttering these tough items is, would I take wherever? Again, another rhyme because rhyming is fun. If you were to downsize your home or move into a different home or move halfway across the world and you could only bring so many belongings, is that item something that you would want to bring? And if you would take wherever, that might be a good indicator that that is something that you don't want to declutter. This is reserved for items that you really would take wherever. Another question that goes along with this one is, will this be forever? And those would be items that you just cannot see getting rid of. So maybe these shouldn't be included in the game, but I'm keeping them in there. And I think we should just be okay with that. There's things that we want to keep in our lives and that's okay. I'm more of an optimalist. I don't want the minimum amount of things or the maximum. I just want the optimal amount of things for my life that enhance it, but also don't become a burden or cause any stress. If you want to see more videos about decluttering with random little twisty spins on them, then you can click on one of these links that I've got here. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button because it tells YouTube that people are enjoying this content and it also tells me that people are enjoying this content. And I just really, really thank you for that and I appreciate that. So thank you for doing that if you do and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.